year ago today, the International Nutrition Plant collapsed, killing two workers and injuring nine others. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. Tonight we're hearing from one of the injured workers who life, whose life, I should say, changed dramatically in an instant that day. Reporter Emily Zink is live at the plant at 77th and I with the story. Emily. Well, Craig Jen Walter Alicio says his day at International Nutrition started like any other day. He never imagined what happened next. I thought my life was done. You know, I thought I was, I'm, I'm done. This is it. All I heard was like uh, metal twisting, twisting metal sound and concrete just exploding. And On February 20th, 2014, Walter Alicio was working as a control room operator on the third floor of the International Nutrition Plant when oversized storage bins began to bring the plant down. It's almost like a train running over you. And then from that point, everything went black. And, and I saw my friend trapped under some debris, a lot of debris actually, and then uh, I was able to grab his hand and drag him out of there. While covered in blood with a shattered knee, Alicio not only saved himself, but was able to save two co-workers from the wreckage. His wife Erica says it felt like an eternity before she and his daughters knew he was alive. I never see him crying and he was crying. Alicio lay in the hospital bed crying, thankful to be alive, but scared for what the future held. But the damage was already done. You know, I didn't know it was going to be like a long process. And it's been a year, and it's, it, to me, it almost seems like it just happened today. Alicio went back to work at International Nutrition, but his knee pain was too much to endure. He had surgery two months ago and hasn't been able to work since. The bills are beginning to pile up and the family's future is uncertain. But knowing that two others didn't make it out alive gives Alicio the strength to stay strong for his family. Being given a chance to survive and going back to my family, because I'm sure even though I'm still going through all this pain, I can still see them and watch, you know, over them. And that fills me with, you know, with strength and, you know, that basically I, I'm blessed, I can put it that way. Walter Alicio says that even though he struggles every day, he can't even imagine what the families of Keith Everett and David Ball are going through. He says even though the two men are no longer here, they're not forgotten. In Omaha, Emily Zink came to the Action 3 News. One of the two men Walter Alicio pulled from the wreckage was Tomas Balderas. Balderas was severely injured in the accident, but after recovering, he was able to go back to work at International Nutrition and has been there since. His attorney, Gary Pearson, says despite a pending lawsuit Balderas filed against the company, there have been no hard feelings. His employer kept the job open for him, so when he was medically able to return to work, they brought him back on board. I don't know if he's doing the same job exactly, but he's 100% okay and he's back working. And wow. So the company's really been very nice to him. Pearson says they filed a products liability case last February against International Nutrition. They will know within the next 60 days if the summary judgment to dismiss the case stands or if they can proceed with the suit. By the way, International Nutrition is still contesting OSHA's decision. The agency slapped the company with more than $120,000 in fines. OSHA cannot comment on the case right now since it's under review. There is no timetable for when it will be resolved.